Hi there folks and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello and today we're going to take a look at one of the most accurate air pistols you might ever own. I'm talking about the Baikal IZH-46M. Let's go take a look at what makes this air gun so fantastic. The Baikal IZH-46M comes out of the IZH factory in Russia. Now this is one of the most accurate pistols you'll ever own. Now this is legendary for its affordability and its accuracy. If you're a regular Joe like me, you will be amazed it will outshoot you every time. If you're a match pistol shooter, you will appreciate the fine accuracy and craftsmanship of the Baikal IZH-46M. Now let's go ahead and look at some features, then we'll do some crony testing and some target testing. When I first took the IZH out of the box and I saw how beautiful it was, I imagined a small factory, small shop somewhere in Russia, and these old men hand making each part lovingly and whistling some old uh, uh, Russian folk song. I might not be that far off, or maybe I am, maybe it's some big factory. I don't know what IZH is all about. A little bit, they make a lot of really cool stuff. They make firearms, uh, they make automobile parts, they make microchips, and they make air guns and firearms. But uh, let me tell you what was in the box. First of all, this certificate of acceptance. Now this has been hand signed. This is not a photocopy. Uh, very good paperwork going on there at the factory. Okay, with the instructions, of course. And it also came with a goodie bag of stuff. Check that out. We've got a cleaning rod. It has a small slot there for putting your cotton patches in and cleaning the barrel. It also comes with a sight adjustment tool. It has several different size flathead screwdrivers and something that looks like it probably pries something up. It comes with a punch for drifting out the pins, I guess, when you're taking it apart to maintain it. It also comes with a replacement seal. It also comes with a replacement rear sight giving you a total of four different notch sizes. It has one on each side there. And of course the one that's already included on the pistol. That has two as well, just unscrew it, flip it over. Here we have a replacement front sight blade. And finally, two extra breech seals. These come in handy. Now, first and foremost, the IZH is a single stroke pneumatic. That means you pump it once, you shoot it once, and that's it. And it has a very, 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 very light trigger. It also has, of course, adjustable rear sight. Very nice, positive clicks. It's made out of all metal, adjustable for windage and for elevation right there. Here you can see the two screws for removing the rear notched sight. The front blade is, of course, replaceable. The fit and finish is very, very nice on this match pistol. The basic wood grips come from the factory a little bit oversized. That's because they expect you to customize it for your hand. Take a look at what we have here. We have an adjustable palm shelf here. It has two screws, slotted screws for adjusting the tilt and adjusting the height as well. This way it locks down on your wrist. One other feature of the IZH-46M, it has the ability to be dry fired. And why is that? That's because competition shooters don't want to fire a pellet all the time. They just want to practice their aim, practice pulling the trigger, and uh, they don't necessarily want to shoot all the time. So uh, that's another good feature of the IZH-46M. Let's go ahead and do some crony testing, then we'll shoot some targets, we'll measure the weight of the trigger, and then we'll wrap up the show. Before we move on to the crony testing, I have a tip on how to store your IZH-46M, and that's to do it with the breech open. Simply pull the cocking arm up until the breech opens. Don't pump it, then close it, and here you can see the breech is now open. And we do this because we don't want to put pressure on those two seals on this transfer block. If we had put pressure on it and kept it stored with it locked down, you can deform those small seals and you'll have compression problems later on down the road. For the crony testing, I used H&N Final Match Pistol Pellets. These are a 7.56 match grade pellet. Now my results were very nice. I have an average of 427 feet per second. Our fastest was 432 feet per second. Our slowest 
425 feet per second with an extreme spread of 7.5. That's very, very good. You want that in a match pistol. Our standard deviation was two feet per second. Look at that, these are some excellent results. This gun is shooting right where it should be. Now I'm no match pistol shooter, so I'm gonna have to cheat for you folks. I have a 42 millimeter BSA red dot sight mounted on a B-square Weaver base that is custom made for the IZH-46M. So I'm just gonna sit on my butt and bag rest it. All right, let's go ahead and do some accuracy testing. So. What do you feed an IZH-46M match pellet? The filet mignon and caviar of pellets. Mwah! Here we have some R10 matches. These are very, very nice pellets. Come in their own little cozy here. Look at that. Just wonderful. And final match pistol pellets. These are the caviar and filet mignon of pellets. I'm gonna be using the final match pistol pellets for this test, but any one of these would be very, very good in competition. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna shoot five shots, because I can't be here all day, I've got things to do. I've got other episodes to make. Very easy to cock. The breech pops open, take my pellet, Put it very carefully into the breech. I don't want to damage it as it goes in there. Close it back up. Now I'm not going to put my finger anywhere near this trigger until I'm ready to shoot. It's that sensitive. I don't want to have a misfire. Now I have a tip for you. When you're using a red dot sight, if you put your eyeball in there and you move your head around, you're going to see that red dot, it's going to smear, it's going to go left and right, it's going to get elongated. What you want to do is get your eyes situated in there until the dot is as round as it can be and it's in the center of the glass there. You don't want to do it this way, this way, you don't want to move that dot around. You want it to be as perfectly circular as possible and you're ready to take your shot. Right, it looks like we're doing pretty good downrange so far. There is one thing I have to mention about the IZH-46. It has no safety. You have to be very, very careful when using this. Most of you are used to uh, safeties on air guns. This doesn't have one. If you bang it or put your finger on the trigger, there's a good chance that it's going to go off. So be very, very careful. As I expected, this did very, very good. Now, granted, I was bag resting and sitting down on my backside, but uh, this will give you an idea of just how accurate this pistol is. Here's five shots with the H&N Final Match pellets. Like any good match pistol, I'm sure that this trigger pull is very, very light. I've never tested it before, so I'm seeing it for the first time as well. And I've been shooting this for uh, quite some time now. So let's go ahead and see what those results are. And uh, then we'll go ahead and wrap up the show. 14 ounces. 